All right, I want to jam in final phone calls here and give each person 45 seconds to a minute or so. Lewis, George, Peyton, Mark, Steve Wilson, others. There's no way to air this whole thing, but three, four days before mainstream news, I mean, New York Times, Times of London, you name it, came up with headlines like FBI lured dimwits into terror plot. The arrest of petty crooks over a plan to target Jews has put the use of sting operations under fire. Here's another one, alternate. FBI blows it, supposed terror plot against New York synagogues is bogus. It's totally fake. Just like in Miami in 2006, and I've seen this literally hundreds of times, they go in, they find Christian black street kids who are on welfare, 75, 80 IQs, mildly retarded. Uh, they're not even Muslims, they were Christians. They said, we'll give you hundreds of thousands of dollars to give you this warehouse to buy guns. They couldn't even figure out how to buy guns. Some of them were 14 years old. They said, we'll give you $100,000 to go film the FBI. They couldn't make the camera work. But by the time it hit the news, they were an army that was going to destroy America. And it was just the government had barely saved us. And they were working with Sh Shalid Sheikh Mohammed, and turned out that was, of course, fake. Well, it's the same thing here. Uh, so I thought I'd pull up this John Stewart, because he said it well back in 2006. Just play a minute or two of the press conference where uh, Alberto Gonzalez really gets caught trying to hype the sphere. Now, this, it, now at least they didn't stage another 9-11. You know, it's hard for the feds to stage those big events. So they have lots of fake fear-mongering. And 7-7 was a group of patsies they paid to be part of a drill they blew up. Uh, just like in 93, the New York Times admitted the feds cooked the bomb, trained the drivers, told them it was a drill, had them park the bomb in the building. Thank God didn't blow the whole thing up. I mean, I've seen this hundreds of times. McVeigh thought he was taking part of a drill. That's now been declassified, been in the Associated Press. But hidden in plain view, nobody seems to know about it. Here is the clip. We turn the tables tonight and we begin with the war on terror. In pursuit of which, as the New York Times revealed last week, the government has been monitoring not only private phone calls, but also bank accounts. To which the usual suspects cried, Fascism, big brother! We'll suck on this privacy horse. As been reported, seven men were arrested yesterday in Miami on charges of, of conspiring to support the al-Qaeda terrorist organization. These individuals wish to wage a, a, quote, full ground war against the United States. Seven guys? <laughs> I, am not a, I am not a general. I am not in any way affiliated with the military academy. But I believe if you are going to wage a full ground war against the United States, you need to field at least as many people as, say, a softball team. <laughs> Which, of course, would be 9 to 11. Nevertheless, nevertheless, how about uh, that new terror tracking FBI? Unfortunately, because of the fine work of law enforcement, these men were unable to advance their deadly plot. A dreadful potential catastrophe averted. And clearly, government wouldn't bother to hold a press conference if this were not a major step in the war on terror, right? All right, so good night, everybody. And, oh, I'm sorry, uh, questions. Did the uh, 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 man have any actual contact with any members of al-Qaeda that you know of? Any? Yeah, the, the, answer that, the answer to that is no. Did you find any explosives, weapons? No, and, and you raise a, a good point. You do raise a good point, uh, that point being that these deadly international terrorists had very slyly disguised themselves as a bunch of dip <laughs> living in a warehouse. <laughs> very cunning, very sly. All right, that's enough. You can watch the whole video at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. The point is, is it in England and in Russia and in Nazi Germany? In every case, Marinus Vanderloop, retarded street kid, they stripped him down, said he burned up the, the Reichstag. And now the FBI goes out and they look at welfare sheets. They're always on welfare. They've always got borderline retarded, but they've got to know how to be coached. And then they'll have an FBI guy show up as an imam or as a Rastafarian and say, I got a $200,000 for you if you'll just wear camo. And then they, they interview these guys on the, th and they literally can't talk. They're like, we're soldiers for Jesus. We're fighting them. And they're like, but I thought you were Al Qaeda. We were soldiers to get on the streets of America as soldiers for Jesus. Meanwhile, they were planning a massive, deadly ground war. Would have, now, at least, again, the feds didn't actually cook a bomb and tell them to go park it for money. And tell them, oh, it's just a drill. It's a drill. We just need you to help the FBI here. They drop it in. It blows the World Trade Center half up. 
I mean, this is what they do. You think I like coming on air and going up against the FBI? These are scary people, folks. Very scary people. Oh, it doesn't matter. And actually, the government's nice. Everything's fine. The $14.8 trillion stolen by offshore banks was for your own good, and everything's wonderful, folks. Before I go to your calls, a lot of people are asking, how do you find like-minded people like a caller earlier? The best way is a uniform, but you don't want to run around in, you know, say a red uniform with black trim like Obama's new uh, youth corps. How about a 1776 shirt or a uh, Culpepper Minuteman flag, Come, uh, you know, don't tread on me shirt? Or how about a, what I'm wearing, live free or die shirt? We have really got some high quality designer shirts we've made at InfoWars.com. You want to meet like minded people? This is the way to do it. Going out to protest, demonstrations, tea parties, whatever. A lot of folks are getting excited about this. Go check out the whole line of Patriot material, ball caps, you name it, at InfoWars.com and films like In Game Blueprint for Global Enslavement, which exposes what I've been talking about for most of the show today, the eugenics operation. But please, uh, let's all start networking, and a great way to do it is wearing the type of shirt I'm wearing right now on my back. Uh, let's talk to Lewis in Colorado. Lewis, thanks for holding. Uh, yeah, it's a huge honor, Alex. I'm a big fan of the show. What I wanted to know is, um, well, we listen to the show every day, and we're trying to figure out what we're ever actually going to do about it. What can we do to resist? It? Well, like I said, we've got to network. We've got to meet like-minded people. Uh, we've got to start saying no to the system. We've got to start calling into more talk radio shows. Uh, we've got to just get the buzz going and going until we're the majority of the people, until the majority is aware of the new world order. Just what I just said. I mean, it's so simple. Why do governments wear uniforms? So they're identified, so that they can know their own group. Well, we need to be identified by patriot slogans, by, by strike up conversations, meet like-minded people, create a local organization in your area, fight the federal takeover of your city and town, educate folks about how they want to use the military against the American people. Most okay. military is against the end of posse commentatus. Stand with our military against the new world order. And finally, when we have everybody on our side, what is it going to be a violent Revolution or a nonviolent revolution? Probably because the globalists right. are going to get violent trying to stop us. Right. And so we're and peaceful. Arms and, arms and chemical warfare, and how do we fight any of that? Well, because the military, most of the money they gave was to Ron Paul. So that's of, of any other candidate, Republican or Democrat. So they are on our side. The police, a lot of them are on our side. If they aren't, we need to point out all these facts and get them to wake up to what's going on. So you're going to track us with license plate reading systems, but cops will be above the law and all government bureaucrats will be above the law. That's tyranny. I just pointed that out out of the uh, news. They're going to track all of us with this stuff that's already in place, but special license plate shield officials from traffic tickets. And now is that tyranny or you know, what is? Then everybody gets so scared. Oh, the government, they've got the military. You know what it would be like for the military to try to capture the United States, just politically how unpopular that would be? So they have to say, oh, the Army's out this weekend stopping drunk drivers. Oh, the Army's doing a takeover drill of the school to fight terrorists. They have to acclimate you to accept it first. And that's what's going on, to train the military and the public that it's okay. So this Memorial Day, remember, our military's always fought military dictatorships and countries where the military is used against the people. Why is that now happening here? Because offshore banks have hijacked our nation in a corporate takeover and Northcom and the military work for them now. We're not against the military, we're against them being in bad hands. Like if I was a German in World War II, I wouldn't be against the German military, I'd be against the German military in bad hands. Go watch Valkyrie if you want to understand that. That's a true story. Let's talk to Mark in Oregon. Mark, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah, how you do, Alex? Good. Alex, uh, you know, I find it highly ironic that these dregs of humanity that you expose and speak of, they refer to themselves as eugenicists who are dedicated to the so-called improvement of the human race, whereas in truth, everything that they do with their so-called eugenics program is designed to destroy all that is good about humanity. Yes, if they were true eugenicists... No, that's their cover to carry out evil and to dominate anything smart, anything intelligent, anything with more than one brain cell. This is about hyper-dominance, hyper-control freak, but they're killing everybody and dumbing everybody down for the globe's own good. Yeah, if, what if, they if, do is hate humanity. They're psycho-control freak killers. If they were true eugenicists, they would immediately destroy themselves, for they, they're the scourge on humanity, and they represent the worst that humanity has to offer. 
I agree with you, brother, and I appreciate your call. You know, I meant to tell this story because Paul Watson's going to do an exclusive article on it tomorrow at PrisonPlanet.com. But look tomorrow for an article about the fact that uh, the Halcyon Group company that is putting out the Philip K. Dick movies right now and putting out uh, Terminator Salvation, they're putting out a movie about Bilderberg from Daniel Esselin's book. We have the latest edition of that, by the way, the True Story of the Bilderberg Group, available at InfoWars.com at a discounted price. Hope folks will get that and spread the word. Endgame is the definitive work that covers it all. But that is going to be their next movie they're making. How neat is that? Congratulations to all those folks. See you back live tomorrow, 11 to 3, and back next Sunday.